Hi everyone and welcome to part two of arcs and central angles. We're doing page two on this one. This is kind of when you get to the heavy math portion. The first one was kind of just identifying what is an arc. So that's a separate video. You should have seen that in part one. But if you're here for the more mathy section, you're in the right place. Let's go ahead and start with number one. Number one, we're asked to find the measure. That's what this M means right here. We're asked to find the measure of CFD. So C to F is there, and then we have to go F to D right there, okay? So it tells us the order we're supposed to go in, C to F, F to D. So it's that big one. Because technically we could go around this other way, we could go C, D, F, incorporating those three letters, but now it's only half the circle where the purple uh, is a little bit different. Okay, let's break this down. So. Uh, when I'm looking at this problem, what I first want to figure out is I want to figure out what angles do I have and what do I need to find out still. Um, I have the 135 and the 81. That's good. But I'm missing one, two, three angles, uh, two of which are important. So if you're looking here, three and one I need because that encompasses all of this. The only one I really don't care about is two, even though I may have to find it eventually. Okay. So let's rewind here. The first thing that you're going to do, the first trick you're going to uh, do with these types of problems is you're going to identify, um, let me reduce that, you're going to identify some vertical angles. For example, these two angles are vertical because they share two straight lines with each other like that, opposite rays. Okay, so those are vertical angles and we know those are going to be the same, okay? So that's like our first thing that we have to clue in on are our vertical angles. Now, the next one we have is we can look at 81. 81 does not have any vertical angles. We're missing that part uh, right here for vertical angles, so that doesn't work. Now, 135 we can have some vertical angles for. So if we look at 135, we can see we have that for 135, meaning it's going to be equal to that. Now, you know what you're thinking. It's like, okay, that only says 81. That means that this chunk right here, that blue chunk plus 81 is going to equal 135. So let's call that X. 81 plus X is going to equal 135 because those two components are vertical angles. This is like the fundamental uh, aspect of uh, arc lengths that is going to be helpful for the rest of this lesson. Okay, let's proceed from here. We're just going to simply subtract 81 from both sides. We get four. Uh, what is that? Um, 13 minus we get 54. Is that right? Uh, I believe so. We get 54 degrees is the measure of angle X. Okay. Now we're not done yet. Okay, because we're still missing another chunk here. This time it's a little bit easier because we have a diameter. So if we're looking here, take a look at this pink, or sorry, this is purple. This is going to be 180 degrees. Half a circle, 180. Anytime you have a diameter, it's going to be 180. So what we can do is we can say 180 is the sum of these three uh these three angles added together. So one plus 81, we've already kind of determined that, plus X, which we already determined is 54, is going to equal uh, 180. And we just solve for Y in this case by subtracting 81 and 54 from both sides. Now, you can tell that I've done some extra work Technically, I didn't really need to add, to figure out that the angle was 54 because those two added together is just 135 anyway. As you can see, 135 plus Y is going to be equal to 180. So I really didn't need to do that, find the 54, but it's important to know how you uh, might need to do that down the road. So I'm going to subtract 135 from both sides, and I get 45 degrees equals Y. Okay, why is that important? Because now I know the total sum of the parties of interest, okay? 135 plus 45 plus 81 plus 54, those added together is going to be the measure of this big arc right. Uh, wait, hold on a second. Did I need that one? 
I didn't. I don't need that 54. So really it's just 135, 45, and 81. Oh, but I need this one, this 45. Sorry, I almost missed it. Remember, those are vertical angles. That's why we need to know that. Okay, so we need that 45 times two. Let me just write this all out. 45 plus 45 plus 135 plus 81. Or we could just do 360 minus 54. Two different options there. So uh, again, I said earlier we didn't need to find the 54, but it is an option. This time I'm just gonna do 360 minus 54. Okay, and I got 306. Just to show you it works either way, I'm gonna add the other ones, plus 135. Oops, 90 plus 135 plus 81. And I get 306. So I get 306. Either way I do this, that's a way to verify I've done this correctly. And that's one. Uh, we're gonna move on to the next one. So measure of SPQ, okay? SPQ, S, oops. We wanna go SP, I'm looking for P, I don't see it. S T U Q R. Ah, here it is. S P Q. This time we're asking for an angle. Okay. Now, what these problems end up doing is they end up giving you like a miss a mix match of central angles, and uh, they give you arc lengths or sorry arc measures also. If it gives you an arc measure like this is an arc measure because it's on the outside, we have to find its central angle that corresponds to it. So this is the corresponding uh, central angle, so that is also gonna be 86 degrees. Now we just need to find one of these pink lines right here, this one and this one, and they're the same, okay? So how do we do that? Well, we know this central angle is 60. Let me change color, actually. So this one is 60, and then this one is 154, okay? So technically what we can do here is we can add those three components together. So we're gonna add 86 plus 154 plus 60, and then we can call this X. And if this is X, then this is X. So we're gonna say plus X plus X, and what is that gonna be equal to? That's gonna be equal to a complete rotation, so that's 360 degrees. Let's simplify terms here a little bit, 86. And, and just to let you know, the setup is probably the most important part with this. So we have 300, oh, this is gonna be easy. 300 plus 2x equals 360. We're gonna subtract 300 from both sides. We're just solving for x at this point. And we get 2x equals 60, so x is gonna be equal to 30. Well, we didn't really need to find that, we just need to know that this was 60 because we're gonna add 60 plus 86, and that gives us 146 degrees. And, just to let you know, this arc SQ would also be 146 degrees because the arc measure is the same as the central angle. Okay, let's do, um, I'm gonna do one more of these real quick and then I'll move on to uh, some of these more algebraic ones down here. So EFC, EFC, this right here. Okay, I don't like that, I'm gonna use the highlighter instead. Much better, okay. So I have a couple options here. One, I need to recognize here. I mean, there's tons of different ways you can do this problem. I'm gonna see that I have vertical angles here. So I know that this measure right here is gonna be one, two, six. If I know that's one, two, six, notice how I have the entire circle minus that outside 126. So that's 126. But now I need to know the purple right here. That's this distance right here is my purple. I know my purple, we'll call it X. X plus 126 is gonna add up to a full circle, AKA 360 degrees. So this one's actually pretty easy. Minus 126, but I wanna just let you know there's tons of different ways to do these problems. No one right way, there's many right ways. 234 degrees. That is the measure of our arc. Okay, solve for x. Assume that lines which appear to be diameters are actually diameters, okay. Here we have vertical angles, this is 140, this is gonna be 140. These two are also uh, vertical angles, so these are gonna be the same distance whatever they are. Well, I, we can figure out exactly what they are because if this is, we'll call this x, Okay, x, and we'll call this x. Because we know that 140, 
140 plus 140 plus x plus x equals 360. Equals 360. And we'll just leave it in green. So now we know that 280 plus 2x equals 360. Well, we're going to subtract 280 from both sides. We get uh, 80 equals 2x, so x equals 40. Now, I should have used a different variable. Let me change it to y, and the reason I am doing that is because I don't want to confuse you guys with the x that's here, okay? So we know that this angle is 40 degrees. Therefore, 6x minus 80 is also equal to 40 degrees. That arc measure is equal to 40 degrees. Now I'm going to solve for x. So I'm going to add 8, add 8. I get 6x equals 48 degrees, divided by 6, divided by 6, and I get x equals 8. And that is my answer. Okay, so uh, you might want to define a variable that's a different letter than the one you're trying to find. Okay? All right, this one's interesting because uh, we can break down some principles here. If this is diameter, that means that's 180. And if this thing is split into e two equal parts right here and right here, that means that has to be 90 and that has to be 90, okay? Because 180 divided by 2, which is this side, needs to be 180 also, is 90. So we know that 90 is going to be equal to x plus 93. So x is going to equal negative 3. Yes, it, x can equal a negative number. Last two, find the measure of the arc or central angle indicated. Assume that lines which appear to be diameters are diameters. Okay. Always look for vertical angles. That's the key to these problems. So here we have vertical angles. I'm going to define this as y. Okay, so that arc measure and this central angle, both y. All right. What else do we have here? Mm. Okay, this one's a little trickier than I thought it was gonna be. So, right now I'm looking for anywhere that I have a diameter because we have no known measurements of, uh, so for example, I'm erasing that Y. I don't think that was helpful. This is my first time seeing this, so I'm thinking out loud as you guys see it in real time. Okay, so a couple different options. Right now I'm just looking for diameters because that is a known angle that we have. So right here, I know that this is 180, okay? And then this is 180. I could also draw it a different way. I'm trying to see if the, another way to draw it would be helpful. And here we see it's about the same thing. So here it would be 180 right there. Now, if this is 5x, plus 10, then this is going to be 5x plus 10. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to call this y for now. And this is y. And then this one is 2x, 12x minus 2. Ah, and I think I know what the, the trick is here. The trick is for this one is this 12x minus 2. We're going to follow these vertical angles down. Aha, uh -huh, this is the trick. We don't really care about these y's actually. Okay, so we took a known value, 12x minus 2, and we found vertical angles, which is vertical with these two together. So we can say 12x minus 2 is equal to 5x plus 10 plus 5x plus 10, because it's twice 5x plus 10. This means it's the same angle. I think I said that earlier. We're going to add like terms on the right side first. We get 10x plus 20. You could also said 2 times 5x plus 10, just in case you're like, it'd be easier if you wrote 2 times uh, 5x uh, plus 10. Yes, it's the same thing, okay? We we realize that. Now I'm just going to solve for x, so I subtract 10x, subtract 10x, I get 2x minus 2. Always move the variables first, by the way. Add 2, add 2, and I get 2x equals 22. So I divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 11. So I have my variable there, and we're done. All right, moving on to the next one. We have no diameters there. Uh, we do have that those two angles are equal, so this is going to be negative 27x minus 3. And since we only have three angles, we know they're going to add up to 360. So this one's as simple as minus 27x minus 3. And actually, I'm going to throw on a times 2 there. Minus 37x. Actually, I'm going to do plus... 
a negative 37x plus 2. Which, I mean, the reason why I just got rid of that is because it doesn't change the signs when you put parentheses. So I'm just going to leave it as minus 37x plus 2. But this is going to be equal to 360. I'm just saying this angle plus this angle plus this angle, which those two are the same, is equal to 360. Okay, so what can I do here? I'm looking for combining like terms. I get negative uh, 54 x minus 6 minus 37 x plus 2. 54 minus 37 x first. I'm going to do that first. So 54 and 37 and I get negative 91 x and then minus 4 equals 360. Add 4 to both sides. Negative 91 x equals 364. 364 divided by negative 91. And lo and behold, I get x equals negative 4. And that's my final answer. So I get x equals negative 4 for that. But oh my goodness, guess what I did? I'm glad I caught myself here. So I found the variable, but I didn't find the desired measure. So I found those variables, but it's asking for the measure. Good thing I caught myself. So we have wv that we're trying to find right here. Okay, ooh, this is going to be a doozy. So uh, there's a quick way to do it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to punch in 11 to x right here. So we have 12 times 11 minus 2. Uh, 12 times 11 is 132 minus 2. This is going to be equal to 130 degrees. 130 plus this needs to equal 180 because there's a the diameter right there. Okay, so there's my diameter. That needs to add up to 180. So clearly that's 50 degrees. So WV, 50 degrees. There's one. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about that rewind. Now we're going back to VST. VST, this angle, I just need to plug negative uh, four in for X. So I have negative 27 times negative four minus three. Lots of negatives here. 27 times four is, is gonna be a positive. So we have 108 minus three, and that's equal to 105 degrees. So this is equal to 105 degrees. Boom, there's our answer. That's all there is to it. Um, hope you guys learned something. This is uh, can be intensive depending on how deep your math teacher wants to get into it. But I hope you learned something for this video. I hope you liked it. Be sure to check out more of my videos to learn more on arc lengths, central angles, um, whatever it is you want. Area of sector, area of segment coming up soon. Uh, be sure to tune in in the future. And thanks for all your support. Take care.